Ladies and gentlemen, Not Forgotten has had quite an eventful journey in Destiny 2. On its release in the Forsaken expansion, it was one of two highly coveted Crucible Pinnacle weapons. And unlike Luna's Howl, you need to hit glory rank 5500 if you wanted to get your mitts on Not Forgotten. This was a highly improbable task for many players, but it was the boss of hand cannons at the time, being that it fired at 180 rounds per minute and had the potential to three tap guardians in the crucible and could do so from extended ranges. But after a strong run in PvP, Not Forgotten eventually did get nerfed, seeing its pinnacle perk adjusted and its fire rate downgraded to 150 RPMs. But then in Beyond Light, it saw fire rate change once again when all but one of the 150 RPM hand cannons were moved to 140. And in the span of two years, Not Forgotten has experienced three different fire rates. So yeah, it's been a heck of a ride so far. Also in Beyond Light, weapon sunsetting occurred, which locked Not Forgotten's power level at 1060 from this point forward. And Not Forgotten can now be obtained for direct purchase at the Legacy Weapons Kiosk in the tower, provided you have the currency and you're willing to part with it. Many are not happy about this, and in my opinion, their descent is justified. Not Forgotten was undoubtedly a true trophy weapon, one that really signified the time and effort a player had to invest to acquire it. But this also brings up the question, is Not Forgotten still worth using currently? And even though it is sunset, is it still worth buying if you don't have it? I'll do my best to answer those questions in this review. And if at any point during the course of this video you find it useful, helpful, or enjoyable, please remember to leave it a like. And consider subscribing to the Ironworker Gaming channel so you don't miss out on any of the Destiny 2 content coming your way from yours truly. But with that, let's get into the review. Not Forgotten is a legendary solar hand cannon shooting at 140 rounds per minute with 10 rounds in the magazine. For the stats, it has extremely strong marks in the range category. The reload speed and the stability are both quite good, while the handling is on the lower end, relatively speaking. For the hidden stats on Light.gg, we have an aim assist value of 79 with a bounce intensity of 5, causing the weapon's recoil direction to be very vertical. For the usage rate, according to Destiny Tracker, Not Forgotten is currently sitting at the 27th most used gun in Quick Play Crucible game modes over the past month, but you can definitely see that spike in usage following the direct sale of the weapon. Intrinsically, even though the rate of fire has been shuffled multiple times, Not Forgotten remains a precision frame hand cannon. This means it has a predictably vertical recoil pattern and high accuracy, but also all precision frame hand cannons do not receive an in-air accuracy penalty and they carry less visual recoil than other hand cannon archetypes. Not Forgotten comes packing Zen Moment where dealing damage increases the weapon's stability. And the pinnacle perk is Magnificent Howl. Rapidly landing two precision shots increases the next shot's damage and range for a short duration. And do keep in mind that this was reworked not to deal extra damage on a crit, only on a body shot. Not Forgotten is fully masterworked in range, and you can see that our power level is capped at 1060. For the damage numbers, and this was a little tricky because right now Not Forgotten sometimes hits for a little more damage than it's supposed to be hitting for. This is a bug that has happened in the past, so the damage numbers that I'm gonna give you are what they should be after it's addressed. So Not Forgotten will be hitting for 70 points of damage on a crit and 47 points of damage to the body. And due to the Magnificent Howl perk, our optimal time to kill is gonna be 0.87 seconds, requiring two crits and one body shot. And our body shot time to kill is gonna be 1.73 seconds, needing five shots landed. When we do proc Magnificent Howl, you can see it only has a three second timer. But when landing that third bullet, it does do the equivalent of crit damage when landing a body shot. For the optimal range of Not Forgotten, we will be doing full crit damage from up to 32 meters away. Past that point, we will start to see the damage fall off. But with this weapon, we do have the ability to secure a three shot kill from up to 35 and a half meters away. And that's still with two crits followed by one body shot. And I was a little curious about the range on the Magnificent Howl bullet. And to test it, we actually had to switch maps. But that third bullet, after landing two consecutive crits, will not see any damage fall off from up to 63 meters away. And with all that covered, let's talk about Not Forgotten's performance in the Crucible. Performance-wise, there's pretty much no doubt that Not Forgotten still is a very strong hand cannon, even after the rate of fire changes. And a lot of that is due to the weapon's range stat and the physical range of the weapon. The high range stat paired with the very solid aim assist stat makes shots fired from this weapon extremely accurate 
and carry a good amount of bullet magnetism. Then the physical range of this weapon really gives you the flexibility to dip into longer range engagements and be successful. I mean, when you start talking about over 35 meters for an optimal kill range with a hand cannon, that's pretty significant. And then the fact that this weapon does remain a precision frame and does not see the in-air accuracy penalty is really nice. Because with player movement being so highly prioritized in the Crucible, the ability to confidently engage from the air can be extremely beneficial in the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. Plus, Not Forgotten is a legendary weapon, so your exotic slot will remain open. This weapon also is very stable and sees very little vertical or horizontal shot deviation, even when using the weapon at its max fire rate. Then Magnificent Howl further increases the reliability of this weapon, since as long as those first two shots land as crits, all you gotta do is put one more bullet somewhere on the enemy guardian. So yeah, I mean, Not Forgotten is very strong and very reliable. And one more thing to take note of is you might have seen some exaggerated damage numbers when using this weapon. This has happened in the past and this is a bug, but for now, you can take advantage of it. I'm sure sometime soon they're gonna take care of this, but for now, you might hit for a few more points of damage on a shot. A few drawbacks to touch on though, and really just two. First, the handling on Not Forgotten is not so good. So at base, it's not an extremely agile weapon. Some way of boosting this shortcoming definitely feels necessary, especially if you want to play extremely aggressive. A hand cannon dexterity mod, or in my case, Ophidian Aspects, really help the cause. Then the 140 RPM fire rate kind of feels weird on this gun, given the on-screen recoil. Now it doesn't really jump up in the air like a standard hand cannon would, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. But the standard visual recoil of hand cannons really helps me time my shot cadence. When I see that gun settle back in, I know it's time to fire again. With Not Forgotten, I, I don't get that indicator. Now with extended playtime and practice, you can probably just train yourself to know when it's time to let off another shot. And personally, you may not find this to be a major issue, but for me, it does create a little bit of a disconnect. So, Not Forgotten, all things considered, is holding its own quite well currently. Is it the best hand cannon out there? Probably not. I mean, if you don't mind burning an exotic slot on a primary, there are some exotic hand cannons out there that are extremely strong in the current sandbox. But I'd say Not Forgotten still is one of the best legendary hand cannons that you could ask for. Is it worth picking up if you don't have it? Well, maybe. It really depends on what you're looking to do with it. This gun is Sunset. So use in Trials when it returns, or an Iron Banner, is kind of a no-no. Unless you like going in under level to test your metal. But if you're someone who just lives in the comp or quick play game modes, you're probably going to get a lot of value out of it. Just keep in mind that those are the only places where it's going to be viable. So if you did enjoy the video, please remember to leave it a like, and consider subscribing to the Ironworker Gaming Channel if you're digging the content and the manner in which I present it. You can look for Ironworker814 on Twitch if you'd like to catch me live sometime, and to contact me, simply comment down below. I'll be sure to get back to you. And with all that being said, I'd like to sincerely thank you for taking the time out of your day to check out this weapon review. You guys are awesome, and I will catch you on the next one.